Her age advantage for the Tijuana fighter, one inch in height, two inches in reach. They both weighed in at the featherweight limit of 126 pounds. By the time they reached the ring, Morales unofficially had gone up to 137, Barrera to 134. It was a raucous, near sellout crowd in the MGM Grand Garden Arena as we awaited the sound of the opening bell. And Barrera holds up a glove to salute Morales from across the ring. Eric simply ignores him. They go to work. Morales' attack primarily over the top. His most dangerous punch, the overhand right. Barrera traditionally relies on the left hook to the body. In recent years, he's added an excellent jab and a strong counter right hand. Morales has always been an outstanding boxer. He always finds himself in hard fights. Need not. He's got an excellent left jab, right hand and corner. His problem is when he backs away, he gets caught. Never learn to circle when you're doing. Deliver your shots and circle to the left or to the right. Let's see if Morales can do a better job of backing away at angles in this fight. Already, they have boxed in a more disciplined fashion for the first minute of the fight than was the case for any minute of the fight two and a half years ago. Now Barrera goes forward behind the right hand. This is a stand-up boxing match as is now. Morales can get the best of it. Keep your balance, keep your height, and your jab. There's the first left hook to the body by Barrera. No question, fighting at distance, Eric Morales ought to have the advantage. That's why he had the, the odds favored him in the first time around. He's an excellent boxer, now stick to your game plan. But he stands up so straight that he seems to have a big target area. No, you can't hit him up there unless you... Drop the waist just a little bit as he's doing there. Weave and bobbing is causing a problem. Very tactical first round. Mexican fans may not believe what they're watching between these two guys. It's so completely at odds with any round they fought two and a half years ago. Now they begin to engage a little bit more closely. Now Barrera gets the left hand of the body and begins to shorten the distance between himself and Morales. If you, Barrera, you want to get those left hooks to the body. Very important early on because this guy, Morales, got the better footwork. He bounces in circles, taking his legs away. Morales landed one shot a little below the baseline. Barrera ignored it. Every Jay Nady didn't see it. Good head movement in the early going by Morales. Barrera is making Morales make the fight. That's a mistake on Morales' part. You don't want to go charging after this guy. But he does, and lands a right hand. Hard right hand to the top of Barrera's head by Morales. Those two right hands in the last 20 seconds may well have given Eric Morales the first round. When we go to the corners where they speak Spanish in both corners, our interpreter is Ray Torres. Very intelligent. Okay, you, you, you made a miss. Yeah, place yourself a little bit more angle-wise, a little sideways, and work your jab. You got a counter punch. You come out and don't, don't have your hands on wide open. We got all the condition in the world. We need to do everything. You did well. You got a great round. The fight is yours. It's a, this is your night. Happy bucks numbers in round one. Pretty equal. Morales 12 out of 39. Ferrer 13 out of 43. Slow pace. Average round for featherweights, 57 punches. In the first fight, Morales was often throwing more than 70, sometimes 80 or 90 punches per round. Morero fought at the slower pace. Maybe that hurt him when the judge's decision was announced. Morales got his hands up high. That discourages Morero always. Keep your hands up, and he just can't see where to throw. Morero blocking Morales' shot. 
touch with his gloves as Eric chases him back. Still Barrera making Morales make the fight. Now he steps forward and drives a right hand through the guard. And a right hand to the body by Barrera as well. You know, you get into a fight with Hamad and you get a conscious of some superiority and then you come back to the ground. Morales is not a man. You're going to have to take it to him. And he's not going to allow for you to box and play with him. Ahmed against Barrera was a counter puncher with nothing to counter. Morales wants to attack. Barrera is shortening the distance again and now starting to get to the body. Big left hook upstairs by Marco Antonio Barrera. Stop, 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 stop. Don't push to the break. Morales starts to jab to the body. Yeah, that's what you want to do. You take some of the steam out of that balloon, jab to the body. Blood on the nose of Eric Morales. Uh, there are bruises on the nose and under his right eye already. Couple of body shots landing for Morales there. Sangra, the first blood. Right on the bridge of the nose. Maybe the product of that big left hook that Barrera landed. Morales reaching the throw over the top. Barrera again gets the left hook in. Not a lot of sock on that one. Hard right and left by Morales in close. Nearly butt heads as Barrera ducked to get out of the way. Once again, as was the case against Prince Nassim, Barrera seems to be measuring his punches, content to box rather than to slug. You did well, you did well, you did real good. Look what how you left him. You, you got to keep the, the double jab, that's what's going to do it. That's going, that's going to get in. It's okay, nothing's happening. You got to work a little bit more. You got to prepare the right hand and, and then throw it. Combination, three, four punches. Next round, just uh, keep working and move your waist a little bit. Move around. And the right hand with everything. Throw the hand with power. Move around. Lateral movements. And the right hand. Chess is a substitute for war. And right now we are seeing a chess match. Copy box numbers in round two. Again, almost dead even. Morales 19 out of 50. Barrera 16 out of 50. Little to choose between the two fighters in rounds one and two. I like it when Barrera starts trying to be the boxer, moving away. Morales attacks him, attacks him. Though he's the boxer, he still goes on the attack. Advantage who? Morales, because this is a point system. Every, every round is going to count. Judges are looking at each round. And the aggressor normally has the advantage, particularly here in Las Vegas. Hard right hand counter by Barrera as Morales leaned over again. judging panel tonight that was the case the first time around. Dwayne Ford, the only judge who comes back, he was the one who scored the fight for Barrera. They trade shots. Barrera with the right hand to the body. Morales with the right hand up there. An alternative universe. An entirely different fight than the first time around. A right cross lands down the middle for Barrera. Morales is initiating all of the contact.
He hits him and Barrera pays him back. misses the shot he doesn't even try to get his balance back he continues on to trying to land that shot that he intended to land originally even if he's off balance and that's when Barrera pops him Barrera taking you want advantage to you want to grab the real estate and keep it and that's what Morales does Morales chasing Barrera across the ring Barrera cautiously staying away What Morales derided Barrera for coming into the fight is his style. He says, he never attacks me. He just waits. So far in the first few rounds, Morales is right. Barrera waiting on him. And Barrera snapping the jab as Morales comes forward. seem to be trying to conserve energy for the long haul and Barrera may be conserving a little more with his stop. A little more jab. Jab. And you're going to stop him when you hit him with the jab. We're doing well. Yeah, your left hand. That's, that's what you need. When he comes in, he's going to see the jab. Deep breath now. You gotta put pressure on him. He's gonna go. You gotta score a knockdown. Let's let's press you more. Let's be more aggressive. Don't let make him a chance. So far we haven't had much drama in this fight. A collision of heads. No consequence. No, the biggest difference Fox. numerically between this fight and the first is that Eric Morales for the moment is throwing 30 punches fewer per round than was the case two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago at this time he had thrown 89 more punches than he has launched tonight. Clearly trying to conserve energy for the later rounds. Harold Letterman, how do you have it so far? <laughs> okay, Chip. I got a 29-28, two rounds to one, Eric Morales. You know, I always thought of Marco Antonio Pereira as a walking bag, a flat-footed, hard hit, a great left hooker. I'm not used to, to him just running away like this, circling constantly, backing up, you know, moving to either side, flicking out an occasional jab. I like the aggressiveness of Eric Morales so far. I thought he was he's won rounds one and three on the aggressiveness you're looking at right now Barrera just backing away not getting flat through not landing the hard shots I have it one round apiece and one even I like Morales he keeps that uh -oh, he drops it a little bit the left hand he pays but he keeps his right hand right up by the chin Right now, it appears that neither fighter wants to go through the hell of their first fight. No question. No, Morales is trying his best to pick a fight. Just not happening back. I think there's no question that, that Eric would like the pace of the first fight and the aggression of the first fight more than would Marco Antonio. Marco Antonio has added some wrinkles to his game in the two and a half intervening years, and they give him some options that maybe he didn't have then. We can see Morales definitely didn't want to fight. He doesn't let it breathe. This guy gets away from him. Herrera, who used to put so much on every punch, throwing a lot of just simple arm shots. Yeah, he's trying to conserve his energy as you. He realizes this fight can get out of control. And he's landing for the sake of landing and keeping things under control. Herrera want to pick the fight up in the middle round. It's when it get hard to think that the judges can give you the fight if you win the last three rounds. When Eric Morales really gets it going, I call him the Air Force because so much of the offense comes straight over the top. And there's a big left hook upstairs. Best punch of the fight for Morales. He tries to follow up behind it. Morales.
almost landed those two right hands toward the end of the first round, and now this left hook. Herrera blocks a right hand shot there. Be careful. You don't follow a boxer around, a punch around with your hands down. You're looking at videotape of Barrera Morales 2 from one week ago in Las Vegas. At ringside tonight in Atlantic City at the Taj Mahal Hotel on the boardwalk, we'll be bringing you live coverage of the heavyweight bout between Ray Mercer of the United States, 41 years old, but perhaps in his best shape in recent years, as he gets ready to try to slam the door on Vladimir Klitschko of Ukraine. Klitschko trying to get in position to challenge Lennox Lewis for the heavyweight crown. It's coming up on Boxing After Dark when we bring you live to Atlantic City after Las Vegas. Round five begins. Marco Antonio Barrera, with his cautious early fight plan, may have given Eric Morales a solid early lead on the scorecards as Morales has been the aggressor and has seized the initiative so far in the fight. We have seen Barrera become more of a versatile boxer puncher over the last couple of years. The question here is whether that's the right style for this fight. He was successful with his other style. He's not being successful now. What happened in the first boxing match, Morellas did not expect to get what he got out of Barrera. This is a different day. These guys have ultra respect. And this Morellas is using his height, keeping his hands up when he's attacked. He has respect and that changed everything. booze from the Tijuanans here to support Morales and disturbed that Barrera is fighting such a cautious and passive fight that they're not getting the warfare they might have wanted. Morales reaching and landing with the right hand. And a chopping right hand for Barrera. Barrera's going back to the old habits of dropping his hands as he moved back. That's been the problem. That was a problem in the first fight. After the exchange, he gets hit. Marco Antonio doesn't feel, it seems as though he has to land a combination until Morales lands something against him. Now he throws a three-punch combination. A far cry from the fifth round of the first fight. Stop! Let go, don't punch. Box. Locked, Stop! good left hand to the body. Mady says keep it up. But the effect is there. The first fight was when we were fools. This fight is now that we are millionaires. <laughs> <laughs> well said, George. They're fighting like guys with a lot more money in the back. I'm telling you, that million dollar purse, I'd like one of those. Eric Morales stalking and attacking with the right hand. Herrera being forced to fight. Confused by the tapping of the 10-second board, Morales stopped. Now he tries to come back, and suddenly, the fight breaks out. That's what this crowd was looking for. I don't think any of that amounted to a whole lot, but at least there was some drama in it. It amounted to a lot. Tells you, don't turn your back on Barrera. <laughs> no mercy. Deep breath, deep, deep, deep breath through the mouth, please. Come on, very intelligent. Hard round to score and a critical round because if Barrera lost it, he might be down four rounds to one early. 
Odd that an experienced fighter like Morales would be confused by the 10 second warning, but he was. Perhaps that woke up Barrera because he seems to have been in a tactical trance for the last couple of rounds. Barrera landed only 8 of 37 punches in the round. Morales 15 out of 49. You can see that Harold Letterman already has Morales winning for the first drive. Five rounds in the fight. Barrera starts to dig that left hand to the body. Herrera looks like he's ready now stop, to go stop. to work. Stop. He realizes like that Herrera lost his start. temper, temper that uh, Morales turned his back on him. Now he's mad. <laughs> How dare you try not to fight me in the middle of a round? But he hasn't fought that way up to that moment. Now Barrera starting to come forward and attack. Stop! Break. That's what we haven't seen all we haven't seen all night is Morales with his back on the rope. You don't want that now. Ebb and flow, shifting tides of fortune. Herrera feeling some sense of urgency after a relatively passive first five rounds starts to come ahead. Morales has been very successful about keeping his back off the rope. Good right hand by Barrera. Morales dropping his hands. Marco Antonio taking advantage. Morales looks at Jay Nady as if to say, he's still hitting me low. Nady says, go back and fight. He won, Barrera. Barrera's playing the part of the counter puncher now. Left uppercut if you hit me with your jab. To try to make him stop throwing his jab to the body. Morales does well if he keeps this a boxing match, keeps his hands up, get that jab going. Different fight now than it was in the first five rounds. Look at Barrera shortening the distance and unloading the left hand. It's a fight now. And Morales seemingly a little back on his heels as Barrera totally changes his tactics. He's waiting for that 10 second walk. Uppercut lands for Barrera. Barrera right hands up. You're gonna see something once they clap those sticks together. Barrera gets hunger. There are the sticks. Ten seconds to go. Let's see if either fighter flurries to try to steal a close round. Barrera is the aggressor in round six. You can't go back. You can't go back. You can't work backwards. Don't lower your hands. When, when you pressure, he doesn't need nothing. Dry his gloves. They're wet. Put some water in his balls. Come on. You got a jab, move lateral. Yeah. You gotta be loose and strong. Herrera getting a little bit rough in here. He has to fight a rougher fight. He's been staying at a distance. The way he fought so brilliantly two and a half years ago was simply by jumping into Morales' face and taking advantage of the fact that Morales has had throws longer punches. It may not have looked that way, but CompuBox numbers heavily favored Morales in round number six. He landed 25 out of 58 punches to 13 out of 45 for Barrera. Harold, how do you have it through six? Okay, Jim. Uh, you know, for in rounds three, four, and five, Marco 
Antonio Barrera was on his toes running away as I saw it. But in round six, I don't give a darn how many punches he landed. He went flat-footed. He was the old Bob Antonio Barrera, and he landed with power. So I gave him the sixth round. I'm also giving him the second round. Four rounds to two, Eric Morales, 58, 56 of points. But Barrera, when he goes flat-footed, is coming off. This is the sixth fight that Eric Morales has had since their first meeting in Feb 2000. And this is by far the best Morales has looked in any of those six fights. That's what his fans and supporters predicted. His corner has warned him, Morales, don't fight backing up. You can't do it that way. He's got to keep that fight coming to Barrera. Well, if they're both going to go forward, then the combustion is coming. No, you circle. You make a circle. Get in a circle. Can't be straight back. Barrera hurt Morales with the right hand up there. Morales comes straight back with a left and right combination. Barrera sharp again with the right hand. Morales takes advantage as Barrera's off balance. believed that Barrera was simply off balance and could have been scored in a knockdown. Jay Nady is one of the best, I can give you that. He pointed to the feet as if to say that Morales had his foot on Barrera's shoe. Well, Barrera's got to know that he's got to keep that fight on the rope. He seems momentarily unnerved by that turn of events, and Morales landed a big one too. This is the best round of the fight so far. They have both had their moments. That's an excellent jab that Morales does not use enough. And he's beating Barrera to the punch with it, stopping Marco Antonio before he can start his attack. They trade shots at close range again. How come you're opening your mouth? Come on. Give me the hand swell. I got a mechanic. Do something. Step on his foot. Come on, come on. you got to be loose. Come on, you got to be loose. Deep breaths, come on. Okay, it's round eight coming up. You got to fight all the way. Barrera is trying to seize the initiative, landed a good right hand, perhaps his best punch of the fight. And later he went down. I don't see any, any reason that that should not have been called a knockdown. There was a slight brush of the feet. So Nagy, give him credit. He caught it. He that was a it. slip. That was a slip. Morales with a 12-7 edge over and there. power connects in the seventh round. Barrera has been economical, and therefore Morales has thrown and landed more through the first seven rounds of the fight. The referee know these fighters, and he understands that you're not going to just knock a Barrera down with a body shot like that. There had to be something involved, and he's at the heels. Five rounds to go, and it would appear that Morales might have a working margin on the scorecards. And he chases Barrera around the ring. Barrera seeming to allow Morales to use some energy. Unfurls that big left hook. That punch landed on the ear of Morales and seemed to bother him. Morales is just surprised that he can win a boxing match tonight. It's out there for him. All he has to do is take the initiative, go out and win a boxing match. Barrera is not going to slug it out and fight with him. You're going to have to take it by points. Why shouldn't Barrera slug it out with him? He just, for some reason, has decided he doesn't want to do it. All right, well, then we're finding out that some of the pieces that were left in the ring of themselves two and a half years ago are still there, that they have not 
fully recovered. They don't want to go through that kind of grind and punishment again. Well, Morales is interested. He's very interested. Everybody thought it was Morales who might have had trouble recovering from the first fight. Maybe the change in Barrera's style isn't conducive to going to war against Eric Morales. No knockdown there. Barrera cannot afford a point deduction. The referee understands that this is a very important fight and he does not want to be pushed in a position where he's going to decide who's the winner. But he wants the fight to be fought out in the ring. That's a great move. Great move by the referee. Jane Eddy has had two previous big fights. Costa Sue against Zab Judah. And prior to that, he was the referee for Fernando Vargas against Felix Trinidad here. Another right hand to the body by uh, Morales. And once again, Barrera goes back to the passive style that he demonstrated in the first five rounds. So far, we've worked ourselves up to this fight for nothing. Hey, these guys get paid the box, Larry. Don't blame them because they have a brain. I wouldn't like, exactly it's not like call it a tin man. I, I wouldn't exactly call fight. it nothing. Just because it isn't what it was two and a half years ago doesn't mean it's nothing. It's something now as Barrera lands three vicious hard shots. A left oh, and a right. Go for it. <laughs> Barrera is fully engaged now, and he probably won the round with that vicious flurry toward the end. That, that's it, Marco. You got him now. Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah. You got him now. You're the one that's healthy. Mar I feel good. I feel real good. Tira tu golpeo. Tira tu golpeo. You know what we worked on? Ninth round. Come on, don't be overconfident now. Be careful. But you gotta throw it. We got enough conditioning. We got enough stamina. Go for it. There's a cut on Morales' right eye. It was ruled that it happened by a punch. It happened toward the end of the round when Barrera landed that big left hook. Second down. Morales with the edge and power shots landed through the eighth round. 74 to 48 by CompuBox numbers. Barrera landing the bigger punches now as we come into the night. Morales' right eye is seems to be closing. And he's on the defensive as Barrera tries to attack again. Barrera's got control of the fight. He's got to take it. Don't wait around and allow this guy to get his courage. Great counter left hand by Barrera. Locked Morales' shots and caught him with that little arm. Morales is once again stunned, and now he lands a big right hand. Stop, stop. Good short left hand inside, Come almost on. out of view by Barrera. Blood now from the mouth of Morales, I believe. And the right eye is swelling shut. If Morales' right eye swells shut, Barrera will load up more on the left hook. Dropping right hand by Barrera. Morales is trying to keep his movement to the left. You can watch things better that way. That right eye probably causing him some visions problem, so he's not moving over to the right. Keep it to the left. Keep everything to the left. We've seen three different fights so far. The tactical introduction, the boxing match dominated by Morales, and now for the last two rounds, the slugging match begins, and Barrera's winning that. Sharp combination by Barrera. Morales' activity level way down. Mexico City fighter taking over. Stop! Stop! 
Well, it's not nothing now, George. Now the country boy. The country boy takes over. Yep. Eric Morales coming right back with left-right combinations. But that eye is going to cause him a little too many problems right now. Yep, the blood is starting to flow again from the corner of the eye. Look at the courage Stop. of Morales as he backs off and lands another shot. Now the corner man plays. How much do you pay these guys? And for what reason? Well, Eric Morales has Miguel Diaz in his corner, one of the very best. He's got a job to do in these last three rounds coming up. Hard right hand and another left by Barrera. Big Watch shot. Your head. Well, Eric Morales taking a lot of punishment in this round. No. You're not throwing enough, you gotta be more aggressive. What's the matter? Hey, don't be overconfident. The referee's not helping us any. The, the, the head butts, he didn't count, he's not doing nothing. Don't let him get, get away with anything. Put some pressure on him. Come on, don't lower your hands. Come on, we gotta get going. Let's go all the way, go all out. You want the, you want the win? You want the revenge? Go for it. Let's go for it. Deep breath, deep breath. Come on, he's got nothing left, so go for it. You gotta throw more. Blood, sangre, is drama. Now we have drama. Scored through nine rounds. Okay, Jim, if they give it up an awful lot of those early rounds, Marco Antonio Barrera has won three out of the last four. I got an 86 85, five rounds to four. Eric Morales, but, but I say so. I don't think Eric Morales can see Barrera's left hand coming. I think that right eye is just about shut. Marco Antonio Barrera, I think, is going to take control of this fight. I have it four rounds to four, one even, an even fight. Straight right hand for Morales. He's been much better in the first minute of this 10th round. Morales coming back and establishing yet again his imprint on the fight. George, it's a brave performance by the Tijuana fighter. Big left hook by Morales. You gotta understand that, Mo, that Barrera was in reserve for the first five rounds. He didn't th throw anything, so now he's using his reserve. Morales, of course, has made him use some. Now he can pick up the pace. Almost as though Barrera fought the first five rounds under wraps. Waiting, waiting, waiting. So now he has some energy in reserve, but now they're evenly winded. Both guys are tired now. They both expel some energy. But the difference in the fight may turn out to be that right eye. The good thing about Morales, he's accustomed to fighting swollen and cut eyes. He's going to have to fight. He's going to have to fight back and try to keep Barrera on the defensive. That's the best way to protect his eye. Keep in mind that Morales was much more marked up than Barrera in the first fight, and he won it. A courageous 10th round here by Eric Morales, who has re-established re his initiative in the fight once again. Good body shot by Morales. Left hook, right cross. Barrera on the defensive again. Now Marco comes back. Strong, isn't he? Just move your hand. Heavyweight. That's the kind of referee I like to see. Morales had to turn, turn the tide around, and he has done it in this round. Man, what the corner will do with his eye. Morales is trying to take a breather. He's throwing a lot of shots. It's up to Morales now to keep the pressure on him. Don't let him breathe. Now he's allowing the rest, and that's when his trouble starts. In a close fight, Barrera seems to have taken a lot of the 10th round book, and Morales regains a foothold. Okay.
Okay, here, hold it for me. Hold it down. Ponle mucha agua en la cabeza. Respira duro. Put a lot of water. Never not two rounds. Give it a little. You see that it hurt him? You gotta throw those straight right hands. The referee is allowing him to do whatever he wants. Well, he's not going to do all that. He's cut, he can't see. We got him now. We got it now. Pressure him. With a lot of pressure. Pressure him. You got it, you son of a gun. The first fight was an action-adventure movie. This fight is more of a drama, changes in fortune. The bad eye of Morales suddenly playing into a different kind of narrative. Could become a suspense thriller. Power shots in round 10. Morales landed to 23, 51. Herrera, 4 of 17. It was clearly Eric Morales' comeback round. Now he's taking the jab. Allowing Barrera to start jabbing him. That's, you don't want that. Tremendous counterpunching by Morales. He can certainly still see how the left up. Big shot. He hit him Barrera. behind the head. He hit him behind the head. He, he didn't dead. The rough three to say something, but they're not going to help you. Yeah, but he ducked his head all the way down right in front of him, George. seems focused on trying to win the 11th round which would shorten the margin on the scorecards once again the way we see it chopping right hand by Barrera there good combo by Morales big right hand by Barrera trading shots that Barrera is strong as an ox Kennedy McKennedy, Agapito Sanchez, and he was knocked out by Junior Jones. But in recent fights, Barrera's had an iron chin. Now step back and away with your hands down by Morales again. Got to keep your hands up if you back Box. away. Box. Pretty even round. They both landed some shots. Barrera's been the aggressor. so much hate for one another. And that's why the referee has seen that although they didn't mess up their strategy at all, they have that much hate for one another, and yet keep your hands up and play the game of boxing. Into the corner. Stop! Herrera trying to apply Box. more damage to Morales sits right out. Tough round to score. But if Barrera has won that round, then the fight may be on the table in the 12. One more. You gotta control it all. You gotta hit it all. I think, I think we're losing. I think we're losing. We need to, we need to win the round. Give me some water. You gotta knock him down. Okay, I want you to come at him. Put pressure on him. Everything. Give it all. Give it all. Don't hold anything back. Don't leave anything for tomorrow. Throw it all. Judges at ringside, Chuck Giampa of Las Vegas, Wayne Ford of Las Vegas, Mike Piano of Illinois, in the 11th round, Barrera by
Tough give out of Clumper through more. Landed more. Landed in more power shots. Fight may be on the table here. Harold, how do you have it? Stop, stop. I don't know, Jim. 106, 103. Eric Morales. Jim, I'll tell you something. In the 11th round, Eric Morales certainly had that right eye close. And a lot of times, Marco was swinging it in. I mean, Eric was moving around and Marco was missing. I get that right to Eric also. I think he's got a 7 to 4 lead. 106, 103. And yeah, Mark Carrera's corner telling him they thought he was behind. He seems to be trying for a big round or maybe the knockout. What you think, Carrera? Carrera needs a knockdown to have a chance to win the fight. You got to admit, you're watching this great fight, but it's Larry Merchant who no, never no, stopped no, no, talking no, no. about the rematch. No, That's no. why that fight has happened. You think I brought in these 13 or 14,000 people in Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> Chin Eric Morales shows against this assault. Barrera has landed a half dozen big shots since the start of the round. Stop. Barrera looking for a 10 8 round. No. Maybe if he'd have fought some of the early rounds yep. this way, he wouldn't right. need it. Amen. And there's the Morales rally. Morales takes a chance when he does this. He opens Stop. himself up to big counters. As long as he keeps his head on, on Barrera's chest, he's out of harm's way. Just don't back away. Don't back away. And don't duck to where Barrera can hit him with the left hook. Hard right hand by Morales. Barrera continues to attack. Down the stretch they come. We're going to let the last minute play in the clear. No, 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 stop. Box. out and maybe nobody ever will despite the seemingly skinny frame Morales has an iron chin all right they wait for the decision again let's go to Michael Buffer ladies and gentlemen here at the MGM Grand of Las Vegas the two best featherweights in the world came into the ring but now only one will leave as the very best we go to the Budweiser scorecards Chuck Jampa scores the contest 116 to 112. Mike Gliana and Dwayne Ford have it 115 to 113. All for the winner by unanimous decision. De Ciudad de Mexico, Marco.
Russell. For two and a half years, Marco Antonio Barrera's constituents have complained about the decision in the first fight. Now it's time for Morales' people to lodge the same complaint. That's right, poetic justice. Now the shoe is on the other foot. And Morales bolts out of the ring without sticking around for any post-fight conversation. Morales is running to the dressing room, infuriated by the decision. Eric Morales must feel like he can't get a break against Marco Antonio Barrera when he won the fight the first time around. Virtually nobody gave him credit for it. This time he loses on a night when it appeared he deserved a better fate. And now let's go to Larry Merchant in the ring with Barrera. All right, thank you very much, Jim. Congratulations, Marco Antonio. Your corner said they thought you were losing in the late rounds. Did you think you were behind? Bueno, yo, yo trabajé para, para boxearlo, como lo dije, voy a pelear más inteligente. No hubieron tantos golpes como la vez pasada, pero tomamos la iniciativa todo el tiempo. Yeah. I worked uh, to outbox him. I knew I could outbox him. Uh, it was a close fight and I did my job. Did you come into this fight determined just to outbox him because it seemed in the first half of the fight that you were not as effective as you had been when you had been fighting him in the first fight. You viniste a esta pelea determinado a que lo ibas a boxear porque en la primera parte de la pelea actualmente no estaba tirando mucho golpe, estaba boxeando mucho. Esa era la idea porque su plan de él era que agarrarme como cuando yo entrara cuando como fue en la primera pelea me estuvo contragolpeando, entonces lo tuvimos que boxear a mi a mi distancia. That was the plan to come in and I'll box him because he would grab me when I would, would rush him and he would be a counter puncher. So my plan was to I'll box him. Tell us, do you think that there were any words between you during the fight? Him and Morales? Between you and Morales. ¿Hubieron alguna palabra entre tú y Morales durante la pelea? Pues sí, él me dijo una, una grosería. Eh, no me acuerdo en qué round me empezó a decirme la pelas. No sé qué, qué se deba a eso, pero no perdimos la calma y seguimos boxeando como, como estuvimos estudiando. Yes, there was a few words in, in, the, in, in one of the rounds. He did insult me somewhat by saying some gross things, but I kept my cool and won the fight. After having stormed out of the ring upon hearing the decision, Eric Morales later returned and spoke to Larry Merchant. Eric, why was this fight for the first half a boxing contest? ¿Por qué fue esta pelea para la primera mitad un, eh, una, una cosa de boxeo nada más? Bueno, yo, me, yo vine a trabajar, él este, creo yo, se guardó hasta el último, creyendo que yo no había entrenado, que yo no había hecho lo necesario para llegar a esta pelea. Yo hice mi trabajo bien, de inicio hasta el décimo round, trabajé bastante bien, creo que iba a round a round ganando, uno que otro lo perdí. Los otros dos últimos presionó bien, fueron divididos, pero creo que hice un gran trabajo y creo que gané la pelea. I, th I came to uh, well prepared to do uh, I'll box him. I guess he reserved himself for the end, but I was still go doing well round by round at the end. I thought I, I still think I won the fight. Tell us how much your bad eye affected the fight in the last rounds. Dino, ¿cuánto de tu tu ojo que está herido te afectó en en la pelea? Bueno, al último ya porque algo algo me me cubría y me estuve tallando varias veces. No podía ver, pero Estuve manejando bien con el jab abajo, buena derecha abajo. Creo que cuando lo tumbé fue un buen golpe. Fue un golpe antes, fue un buen golpe, pero bueno, así pasan las cosas. Creo, creo en Dios y creo que Dios es justo. Y si ellos creen que no van a igual. The eye affected me a little bit, I can hardly see, but I still thought I did enough. I controlled the fight. If it, it's, it's going to be some justice, if they thought they won the fight, well, so be it. Do you feel that because of the controversial nature of the first fight decision that they wanted to give it to Barrera to even it up? Piensa tú porque tú recibiste la decisión otra vez cuando fue la pelea muy controversial que esta vez querían empatar la cosa, igualarla, para dársela a él. No lo sé. Aquella vez yo presioné, yo hice el trabajo. Esta vez yo volví a hacer el trabajo, yo presioné, yo fui adelante tirando golpes. Creo que, como te digo, las cosas pasan. ¿Qué puedo hacer yo? I, I don't know if that's the case, but in the first fight, I pressured the fight. I did the same thing in this fight. Uh, what can you do? 
Should there be a third fight? Debe haber una tercera pelea. Depende, de, yo no sé. Ah, vamos a platicar, vamos a ver qué dice Arum, vamos a ver qué 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 pasó, qué qué sucedió. Y pues ni modo. Y antes que nada, pues quiero mandarle un saludo a toda la gente. Creo que no los defraudé. Hice mi trabajo. Un saludo a don José Suleiman y a toda la gente que me apoyó para llegar a esta pelea. Ah, uh, probably so. I'm not sure. I gotta speak to Bob Arum. I think I did my job. I hope I didn't disappoint the, the, the public. Uh, Mr. Suleiman, I did my job and I uh, thought I won it. Thank you very much, Eric, for coming back out.